Hello everyone, I am Fei Yang. I will present my work Variable Rate Deep Image Compression with Modulated Autoencoders in past year. Our goal is realizing variable rate in deep image compression framework. That is easy for classic methods, for example, JPEG will use one quantization table to scale the coefficients of DCT transformation, and then it can control how much information you want to preserve after quantizing. When decoder receives the bit stream, it will use this quantization table again to obtain the true DCT coefficients for reconstruction. For deep image compression, the objective function usually has two terms, one is distortion between reconstruction and original image and another is rate, which is the entropy of latent presentation of original image. Then the compression rate is depend on the trade-off between these two terms. In most of deep image compression methods, they will train many independent models with different rate distortion trade-off for different rate. In last slide, we know that most of methods need much time and memory to train and store different models for variable rate. This proposed one method which has similar idea with classic compression methods for realizing variable rate. They train one compression autoencoder for high rate at the beginning, and then freeze the model but learn different sets of scaling factors for scaling the latent presentation for other different low rates. The drawback is the frozen autoencoder for high rate maybe is not optimal for low rate. It will carry performance drop on low rate. We proposed one modulated autoencoder for variable rate compression. It can realize variable rate with only one model and only one time training. The key point is that we use one pair of modulating networks to map rate distortion trade-offs, the lambda, to modulation vectors. These modulation vector will make the features from encoder and decoder adaptive for different rates. And then it can learn the model for multiple rate jointly. Here is our modulated autoencoder architecture. As you can see, we use modulation vectors for modulating the features after each convolutional layer in encoder and also decoder. Our results is almost same with independent models for variable rate, which can be viewed as upperbound. And better than Thys's method, we call it bottleneck scaling here. Note that our idea can be expanded easily to other deep image compression method for realizing variable rate. For future work, we plan to explore deep progressive image compression with convolutional networks. This is another way to variable rate, but the difference is it is suitable for progressive transmission, and it is possible to get preview reconstruction very quickly.